This is the IRS in a more dynamic way. First of all, you see on the left there's that circle. That's a decision circle, decision-making cycle. Uh, the actual steps are unstated, but it's pretty generic. And we're not really interested in the steps per se. It's problem solving. You see a problem, you get information, you set up the alternatives, you pick a remedy, you control, you apply, you monitor. That's this cycle here. We are going to be concerned about the two flavors of problems here. Get back to that in But this is happening inside the mind of every single person in the organization. So now you see these little lines and arrows between the levels. So this is a more interactive, dynamic view of the IRS, where problems move through the organization, where information flows up and down side to side. So let's see how this works. Here's your frontline worker. Your frontline worker sees a problem, a hazard, a defect, or intervention. What's the first thing that person should do? Report it. Report it. Does anybody have a different opinion in the report? Control it. Control it. Yeah. See? No disrespect here. That's, I'm, I'm actually hoping someone says report it first so I can say, well, what other options do you have? Would you agree that 90% of what a frontline worker sees as a problem is probably pretty small and is already part of the procedure and it's already part of you know, the workstation? You're seeing something out of place, it's an anomaly, something needs to be reordered, it's readjusted, many small things. So, what that person should think is, can I fix it safely? Stop, correct, fix it, carry on. I may also want to tell my supervisor of my problem and success, just in case someone else laterally has, is faced with the same issue and they haven't recognized it yet. So that sort of communication laterally between people, work crews, and so on. Now, if I see something as a frontline worker that I can't stop, fix safely, then really I have to report it up to the supervisor. And so that's this little arrow moving up to the supervisor. Now the supervisor has more authority, resources, control, usually hopefully experience, and the supervisor then works with that worker or the crew to try and solve the problem. Okay, it's so nine times out of ten, you're done. But are there times when the problem is too big for the supervisor? Beyond the supervisor's resources, authority, and so on. Then what must the supervisor do? Move it up. Right, to the next level, to the manager. Okay? Now the manager has more authority, resources, experience, and then works with the supervisor and perhaps the crew solves the problem. Are there times when the problem's too big for the manager? And then you move it up to the next level and so forth. <coughs> so you see how problems move up and they sometimes problems and solutions move sideways. Looking at the president, you could read these little points here. It says that as you go up the internal responsibility system, the number of issues become fewer, but they become bigger. They become system-wide issues. They become uglier. Clashes of values. There's clashes between organizational divisions of the, of the company. So if the president is receiving reports of wet paper towels as a slip hazard, in the washroom, is there something wrong with the IRS? Would that strike you as being not the right size of problem for the president? Somebody's being a sieve, somebody's letting that go through. Somebody didn't try and solve the problem at some lower level. And so that would be a failure or weakness in the IRS. But looking at that now in terms of not just statements of responsibility and authority, but as problem solving and information flow, can you see that the internal responsibility system 
is a dynamic problem-solving machine. It's a sorting machine. It sorts problems out to the right level of authority and control and responsibility. And you can immediately see that there can be flaws, there can be weaknesses. Where can there be failure here? Can there be failure at any level? So you think that through. Are there circumstances where workers, for some reason or reasons, don't report up to supervisors? Supervisors sometimes let it be known they don't want to hear about things. Or you tell the supervisor and they ship you off to the committee or the safety department. They don't actually try and solve the problem themselves. Or you've got a manager who doesn't want to hear about things. That's why you're the supervisor, I'm not. You're supposed to solve these problems. Don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. You know, then why do we have you as a manager? Can you see that there can be problems between every level in terms of ownership, in terms of dealing with it, sending it to the right person or not? Okay, so that's a basic function of the IRS. People do it themselves. They can. If they can't, they have to get someone else involved.